Hi and welcome back. We're currently on a month-long journey of North America, Greenland and Iceland. Join us on the journey. Good morning. We're at the Cool Cabana Resort. We've made it, haven't we guys? We've made it Yay. after what yes. felt like a forever journey in in Boston, Charlotte. In Charlotte. Charlotte didn't want to let us go. She wanted to keep us there. That was the most hectic travel day ever. But we're here in the beautiful, sunshiny, oh, where's the light? Beautiful, sunshiny Orlando. It is so hot. We actually went to the parks last night. We went to Universal Studios last night. And we just had a bit of a relaxy night, went and got some dinner, we did a few rides, but we thought we'll start today off fresh with a new vlog. Let's go. So we're staying in the tall building around the corner, which means we get to walk past the pool all the way back to the resort and like lobby area. So it's a lovely walk at night. Well, not after you've been walking around the parks all day. There's a lovely little beach area in the middle of the resort as well where you can sit out, pick a sunbed and relax. So we've walked into the diner. So they've still got their breakfast menu in the quick service area. So that's what we are looking for this morning. So they've got toast for 95 cents, ham and cheese croissant. Vegetarian breakfast pastry. I'd like a picture of that. Yeah, there's a picture of everything, everything else but them. There's a salad bar, pizza bar, eats, or oh, international eats, and a grill. So many options, so many options. So now we've got our meals and we're sitting in the dining area. A lot of seating available, which is good. Paris, you got the buttermilk pancakes with a side of potatoes. Mum got the buttermilk pancakes with a scone, or as they like to call it here, a biscuit. A biscuit, that's so weird. And I also got the side of potatoes. And I just had my first hiccup. I went over there and said, uh, have you got any tomato sauce? Sauce, sauce, no. Maybe up at the counter. And I saw three like big shells of this and I was just trying to ask him if this was sauce and then he was like no 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 and I walked away thinking oh ketchup and I went back and it says tomato ketchup on it <sighs> the language barriers the language barriers the temperature is so much better out here today um, it's like really humid and warm but I think because there's a bit of cloud cover and we're walking in the shade, it's just so nice. Summer. The hallways are so colorful and bright. We're on our way to Volcano Bay. We're using the guest entrance. So it literally is all of 30 meters from our hotel doors. How great is that? Please have your room card available to enter. <laughs> so we've just come in through security. It's just starting to spit. We've got entrance to Volcano Bay. Hi. So Volcano Bay is the like water park of Universal Studios. I have no clue what this is, but I'm going to call it a tappy tappy. There you go. <laughs> We've been given a tappy tappy. <laughs> what does it do? Tapu tapu wearable. Wear it fastenly, fastened securely with two snaps. Use it for virtual line and more. Return it as you exit the park. Yeah, tapu really tapu. Yeah. I guess we'll find out as we go. We've got the main volcano and we're going to try and head to the marketplace. Looks like the wave pool's about to start. Here we go. Oh, there's a water slide that goes all the way through that volcano, Paris. Yeah, I know. Are you going to do it? 
Huh? No. No? This looks hectic. So what is it, Pat? It's a rapid lazy pool. A rap pool. just got off the rapid lazy pool and it's just starting to rain oh look there's actually a bit of blue sky we just heard our first crack of thunder so we're hoping that they don't temporarily get us out the water hopefully it will pass really quickly but that was so much fun wasn't it Paris? Yeah it is. At one point this is like section where it like brings out a big flood of water it's like they've opened up the the dam gates and it was like, and, we were like <laughs> and at um, one point we were laying on our bellies and going like superman style and you don't need to swim at all you just lay there and you can like just like astro orbit around so we got in one ride and the big announcement just said there's thunder and lightning in the media area They've just closed the pools and rides just temporarily until it passes. Not sure how long will that will be. So, so we, what do we do? I don't know. It's, oh, it's, yeah. my, it's my tapu set up. I don't know. Let's have a look. Tap it. It's so the little picture look like a little frog. Oh, so and then there's the frog up there. Yeah. Because of the storm, maybe. Maybe. We have to wait till the storm's gone. Yeah. Oh, so to get on that ride, you have to cross this bridge there. Oh, and that's when we tap it and water will splash. Sounds fun. We're just chilling, relaxing, waiting for the storm to pass over. The temperatures dropped a foot, like a fair bit, so that's really nice. It makes sitting outside much more pleasant and enjoyable <laughs> rather than sitting in the sweltering heat. Last night we went and got Panda Express after the Universal Studios. Best thing ever. Oh, hello. I love Panda Express. It's so good. What do you have, Paris? Burger King. Burger. And that was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I just think Panda Express should expand to Australia because I will be there all the time. They just like seem really trustworthy, you know, that I'm not getting a food poisoning. <laughs> So we've left Volcano Bay and we're going to head to the hotel pool. We're just going to cut through the building so we don't get super drenched. Check out what if the pool's open and then maybe get some food if not. Maybe head to the park. Um, sounds pretty good. When the rain comes out, the pools are shut, everyone disappears, and it's like you've got the entire resort to yourself. Oh wait, here's two stragglers. Who have we got here? Ah! Not a person around. <clears throat> pool shut down and everyone disappears. Yeah, pools down. Here at the Cabana Bay Resort, they have their own shakes restaurant. So like an ice cream milk bar all sorts of different goodies, ice cream, sundaes. Now at the Bayliner Diner we've got a lunch menu, lunch and dinner menu that's popped up. Pepperoni pizza, shrimp stir fry. Oh so they've got a stir fry here but it's just got shrimp in it. Cuban sandwich, Cabana Bay burger with mushroom. Also within the resort there's a Starbucks coffee cafe. Have a look at the little coffee cups that make the decorations here at Starbucks. You see that? Yeah. What do you think of it? Isn't it amazing? It's pretty, pretty creative. Do you think it looks good? Pretty creative. <laughs> the Universal Gift Shop. A lot of Harry Potter stuff. We're at the Cabana Bay Merchandise Store. This one says Florida. Florida. It's seventy-five. Dollars nice. plus I suppose sales tax. That's quite nice. Mm. This one here. Vacay vibes. Also 75 plus tax. That's nice. They're nice colours. Yeah. 75 dollars. So 75 seems to be the going price. That's nice. Tie-dye. Sunshine stuff. That's a classic Florida yeah. one. 
Orlando yeah. Sunshine State. They're known for their oranges. It's funny both places where Disney built, Disneyland, Disney World, are both known for their oranges. Yeah. Ooh, Cabana Bay <clears throat> dressing gowns. Do they have them in the room? Obviously not to keep, but like just to use while we're here. $79.95, pretty good, Cabana Bay. That is pretty good, like, they're nice. Yeah. They're nice, they're long. They feel good. They feel better than what I thought they would feel. What have you found over in this part? Universal Studios Florida there. That's a nice jumper. $60. A little bit cheaper than the others. Finding bargains, Paris. Finding bargains. Oh, yes. They've also got the travel mug style. Oh, and the mugs. Oh, and the little coffee shops. They're nice hats too, $60. Oh no, adult fleece and tea combo, $60. So you've got quite a large merchandise store here at the Cabana Bay Resort. It goes for quite a while, lots of merch. So we just went and grabbed some lunch from the diner. So I got the kids spaghetti um, and meatballs. Paris got the cheeseburger. Mum got the vegetarian stir fry. So all together lunch, including all those extra taxes they will add, was $47.44. The green apple slushy from the Bayliner Diner. Very nice. That kid's spaghetti bolognese was certainly <laughs> enough. I'm full. And you can actually roast some marshmallows around the fire pit. So it's about 5.30. We're gonna catch the bus into Islands <coughs> of Adventure. And we haven't been to Islands of Adventure yet, but that park closes at eight o'clock tonight. So it's not open as long as Universal Studios last night. That was open until nine, but tonight that also closes at eight. So I'm thinking maybe weekdays they shut at eight o'clock it was raining really heavy before rain's cleared up i put on a jacket because it was getting a bit cold um in the room in the right here. yeah because of the air con and now i'm like all sticky in my jacket so i think the jacket has to come back off oh, jacket on jacket off are you in the pool are you out the pool holiday life it's stressful <laughs> So when you're coming in from the bus stops or the car parks, after you've gone through security, you'll see these big two signs. Islands of Adventure on the left, Universal Studios on the right. The moving walkway exit is approaching. Please. Who's ready for Islands of Adventure? So this here is the Universal Studios like city walk. And we've made our way left to Islands of Adventure. This is just like a bit of a shopping district. Lots of food, lots of restaurants, lots of merchandise. But once you get to the parks, like the park gates, that's when you need the ticket. Let's just have a look at the chocolate emporium. So here we've got the chocolate factory. Look at that. They sell candy, food and spirits. Wow, there is a lot of boats in this little harbor. <laughs> little harbor. Hard Rock Cafe looks like the Colosseum a bit. Further down you can see the iconic Universal Ball. Alright, anyway, Islands of Adventure, let's keep on tracking. A little aeroplane parked up by the little Tiki Airport. And look here, here's a Photo spot. Oh, so they're showing you like that. It's going to be this one here. Oh, so if you guys can stand there, okay. take a photo and see what it looks like. All right. Yes, we've got a hard copy map, Paris. Yeah. Finally. All the other maps are on the phone. Photo off in this little cart. It's a Christmas shop. We love the Christmas shop. We love Christmas. We made 
made it out of the Christmas store without buying anything Christmassy. We're really restricted with our luggage anyway, so the choices we make have to be the ones. They have to be the best items. There were quite a few nice things in there. So many nice things. So we seem to be entering Seuss Landing. We're in Dr. Seuss Town, guys. Seuss Land. Seuss is trolley train ride. Are you ready? All right, we are getting ready to head on to the train. It's arrived. We're excited. Now there's no photography or videoing, so we won't be able to show the ride, unfortunately. But it follows this little track around in the air. You guys ready to go? was a really slow pup, pup, pup train in the air. I was hoping it would have a little bit of roller coaster action to it, but unfortunately not. So a good one for the kids. Whoa, we just came off the ride. This is the ride exit. Look at these sweets and treats. These fudges. Whoa. Birthday cake, crispy treat, $5.50. Chocolate crispy treat. So good. Oh wow. Gigantic donuts. Gee, that's that's a hard exit. They try and get you when you're coming oh, out. They do. You've you've been lining up on the in the lineup, you're feeling hungry, you got the adrenaline hive going on your ride, and that's when they get ya. Right, next ride. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Harry Potter, all right, Harry Potter. Is that next town over? So yesterday when we went to Universal Studios, we caught the train and linked ourselves between Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. You do have to have like a, a, a ticket to both parks. So we caught the train over, so that was fun. Again, not allowed to film in the train, uh, but we do have a few snippets of the train station. So we'll put them in here from last night. So here we have Hogsmeade to London King's Cross Station. That's where we came out yesterday. Today we're going to explore this little town. So this is Three Broomsticks. Now this is our favorite little restaurant. We went to this place in LA Universal Studios and they have a fantastic, where is it? The Great Feast, it doesn't outline it, but it had like ribs and corn, carrot, broccoli, like, oh, it was so good, so good. Hey, there's helicopters in Harry Potter world. So I think we're gonna head there tomorrow night and, and have that for dinner. So good. All right, we're continuing through and we now see Hogwarts. All right, we're gonna try this one. I'm going in as a single rider for this one. Entering Hogwarts, I think it's this way. No, not this way, <laughs> not that way, this way. Here we go. My single rider experience was very fast. I literally was the only one in the line, got to the front and then just jumped in straight away. And ride was really nice, it was smooth, like you weren't hitting your head from side to side. And it was like a simulator, there was a lot of different screens. Um, so it was like a, what do you call that? VMAX, not VMAX, where it's oh, like ramp. IMAX. A lot of that, like you'd go into a room with an IMAX screen and woo, glide around, back and forth. So you, you did spin around, not spin around, but like tilt in different directions, but it was smooth gliding. Welcome to the
Ride of the night because the park is sharp, so I think. Is it, what's the time test? 757, three minutes. Um, and it was a walk on, we just went straight on, there was not a line up at all. Well, what's this pink one? Do you want to go on their pace? We've got three minutes, it'll be the last ride of the night. Let's give it a go. Know what we're lining up for but with three minutes till the park closes it was our last a ride rough terrain rough terrain so we just did king kong uh, interesting <laughs> It was good, like fun. A bit uh, like it was like a rough little thing. Scenes could be a little bit scary for young children. So surrounded by dinosaurs. There, there was and yeah, and the giant mozzies. When the mozzie got slashed in half, I was like, Ugh. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> would, I, would we go on it again? Probably not. No. Behind us, all gave it a big yeah. clap at the end. Maybe, maybe because we don't really love King Kong. Like, yeah. I haven't seen it, I don't think. That looks fun. Woo! Alright, so you come out over the top, Whee! in under the building, back, back out. That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> so the parks are shut now, we're on our way out. It was a nice afternoon in here just to do a few extra rides. Say goodbye to Island of Adventure. Yeah. <laughs> because both parks close at the same time, it is very busy. Everyone's trying to get back to the buses. And their accommodation or their car park. So to get to the Cabana Bay Resort, it is number seven. It looks like it's a very popular bus to sneak this evening. Look at that. Why are all the others dead empty? And number seven is chocolate. <laughs> 